a heads up and a mini guide as to where to go when you visit Divisoria. I love Divisoria so much. I cannot express in words my love for this place because everything is just ridiculously cheap. But the problem is it's a really ginormous place. It's hard to know where to go and where to find what you're looking for. So here I am going to share with you just a few of the places that I visited. All right, so here we go. Okay, first of all, I'm sure that if you know what Divisoria is, you've probably heard of 168, but I'm gonna go into detail in this video on other places. All right, so first is Divisoria Mall. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of the oldest buildings there in that shopping district, but it's an air-conditioned building, and inside they have things like flowers, fake flowers, house decorations, um, clocks, wall decor, house tools, gardening needs, a lot of little things needed at home. It's in that building. They also sell personal items like um, handbags, carry-on bags, wallets, um, umbrellas. All right, the next place I'm gonna get into is Tabora Street. Now this is not even a building. You guys, this is just right outside. So when you walk out of one building to get to another, like there's still places to shop. It's just heaven on earth. We got balloons for eight pesos a piece, including the stick. And if you didn't know, the balloons of that same design sell for 90 pesos a piece at Toy Kingdom. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, something else you'll find on this street are a whole bunch of costumes. I saw everything from superhero costumes to like Hawaiian costumes to a bunch of, uh, you know those feather boas, what they wore in like the 1920s, um, accessories, because it was Christmas. Christmas time we saw Santa costumes and elf costumes so it's a perfect place to go to if you have like themed parties coming up something else you'll find on Tabora Street are mason jars glass bottles of various sizes this is where I got the bottles I used for Bella's birthday for the centerpieces I just got 10 of them for the tables um, they were 15 pesos each. Another thing you'll find are a bunch of giveaways. They have like the little candles and glasses, baskets with things inside, personalized pomai pies or fans. You can make personalized mugs. Something we got there were containers for our Christmas gifts. 50 pieces, 20 pesos a piece. Two more things we saw and also bought from on this street are those big paper mache letters. You know those huge letters that every parent likes to get for their kids first birthday? Those are available there. And lastly, kitchen supplies. There are just a bunch of kitchen supplies on this street. Everything from pots and pans to spatulas to those wired nets, you know, for deep frying. Pretty much everything you would need for your kitchen except the food in refrigerator. So that is Tabora Street. The next one I'm going to talk about is one of my favorites. Well, they were all pretty much my favorite because I just loved everything about Divisoria so much. But it was my favorite because you're going to find out right now. The next building is the Bodega Sale Building. Like, come on now. The name in itself. Hello. It's like, whoa. Whoa. Extreme bodega. This is a building wholly dedicated to toys. It's not air conditioned, it doesn't smell very nice, but you go up an escalator, it takes you to a piece of heaven. Everything that your kids watch on EvanTube, YouTube, the surprise eggs, blind bags, hatchimals, LOL surprises, you guys, they are all there. They may not all be original and real, but our kids don't know the difference. They'll never they're gonna play with it and get sick of it anyways. They also have originals, of course, like the Fisher Price infant chairs, and basically everything for kids. Toys, Barbie shoes, Barbie clothes, cars, kitchen sets, egg surprises, doll houses, Lego sets, everything, you guys. It's amazing, it's amazing. Okay, the last place I'm gonna share with you is Santa Elena Street. What you'll find here is a whole bunch of pambahai. The sandals, the shorts, the clothes for kids, the little matching outfits that are just so cute and just signature Pinoy. They're all there, and not only for kids, but for adults. There are a bunch of t-shirts. Lester couldn't help but pass it up, but he bought a few too. Kentucky brand, to be exact. 
They also had some Supreme knockoffs. When you pass the clothes, some other things you'll see are a whole bunch of basahans. Like, I don't know why it's in that area. It was really cool actually as you just walk one step and it's already floor rugs. And something else they had were picture frames. And since it was Christmas time, they had Christmas gift wrapper. And they always, always have corn vendors or coconut juice plate things. So if you want coconut juice and feel like going that far, then get some on Santa Elena Street. Those are the places I'm sharing with you guys today. And before you go, I'm gonna give you a couple tips. If you're driving and you need a place to park, you can park in Lucky Chinatown Mall. It is going to be a little bit more expensive. We paid about 100 plus to stay there for three to four hours. But you guys, come on now, it was so worth it. We got everything else at a really cheap price. If you go early, you don't hit traffic and you don't reach the crowd. Another tip I will give you is bring a side bag, something that you'll be able to, you know, move freely in. While I was there, somebody actually said to me, Miss, watch out. Of course, he said it in Tagalog, but see Miss, see Miss Sundanka, which means you're being followed. Not in like a scary way, it was broad daylight, but you know, somebody was looking at my bag and trying to get my bag, so be careful. Take care of your valuables. That might be enough reason for you to say you're not going there. But you guys, it's so worth it. Just be careful and have lots of fun and drink a lot of water because you're gonna be walking a lot of places. And I really hope this video helped you. And if it did, and if you like this, like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have multiple accounts, give me multiple thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you can see more of me here at Infinite Mom Abilities. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you again next time.